success. The dictionary definition of success is the favorable or prosperous termination of endeavors, the attainment of wealth, position, or honors. While I find this definition correct, I also believe there is no universal measure of success because of the broad spectrum of success itself, as well as its individualistic nature. When questioned about their plans for the future, 70% of teenagers responded that they were undecided about a career field, and only 30% responded that they knew what they wanted to do with their life. The same group of teenagers were questioned on whether or not they wanted to be successful in life. 100% of them responded that yes, they wanted to be successful in life. It seems like everyone in the world is chasing success, so the important question that remains is, how do we get there? What are the steps that we take to become successful? I found a talk by John C. Maxwell, a famous motivational speaker, in which he gave advice for steps to success. In it, he said, number one, make a commitment to work and grow daily. Number two, work hard during the process so the goal turns out. Number three, don't wait for inspiration, find your own. Number four, be willing to sacrifice. Number five, dream big. And number six, plan and set goals. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl emphasizes the necessity and importance for attitude in daily life. He says, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's way. Essentially what he is saying here is that no matter what happens in our lives, we can always control how we respond to situations and our attitude. Frankl goes on to say, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. And in our response lies our growth and our freedom. Essentially, here he is saying that the way we choose to respond to situations and the attitude we take gives us power. If we make good decisions for good attitudes, we are more powerful than others who choose to have a bad attitude and a bad response. Frankl talking about the power of attitude and reaction really made me step back and look at my life. Look at how I reacted to, the, to things and what influenced me the most. When I thought about it, football had taught me a lot of things about life. The more and more I thought about it, the more I realized how similar football and life really are. Through life, there are ups and downs, just like in football. You're constantly having to make changes and overcome unexpected adversity. You have to learn how to do new things. You have to grow, prosper, and develop. You learn the importance of building relationships and bonds with people and developing a sense of camaraderie as you grow through struggles together. You learn that, as cliche as it sounds, what doesn't kill you does make you stronger.
biggest life lesson football taught me was determination. Being able to push through adversity when you're going through a difficult time with something outside of school or even during the team. I know I had a tough time with football. And, um, One of the growing problems with today's American society is the lack of willingness to work hard. The way football helps you in life is it also teaches you how to work hard. It teaches you that hard work will pay off and it also teaches you the importance of setting goals. Uh, their team goal was definitely to win a state championship and uh, win the district championship and uh, came close to one of them and got the other one. And some personal goals, I, know, I just try to be a, a captain or a leader on the team and, and uh, just, just get better with, with every week and uh, I think for the most part I did that with a few bad games. but. Oh yeah, uh, it teaches you responsibility and you need that in life, you know, just to, to be able to be accountable and, and that's a main thing you need in life is to be accountable to people and you gotta, you gotta do your job, everybody has a job, we all do it together. Football uh, helps with accountability and um, just just not letting, not wanting to let someone down and, and uh, not wanting that person uh, to let you down so you work your hardest and uh, it's, it's like a brotherhood and uh, you just you just want to do your best for the person next to you and I think if you do that in life in, in business or in anything that uh, that you'll be successful because you have a motive to, to do something you love. Um, I think football just it really teaches you camaraderie, um, responsibility, teamwork, how to be a leader and really persevere through challenges. I mean, practice in itself is a challenge every day. Um, a lot of times you don't want to go to practice or work out or go that extra mile to achieve something great, but football really teaches you how to do that. And um, it really develops lessons and um, characteristics for, for life that will really be implemented in your mind for the future and um, help you out a lot. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. Last play of the game, Baker throws to the end zone. Baker's got a man. It is caught, but out of bounds out the back of the end zone. Oh, the Cavaliers missed it by about a foot. Grant Foster caught the ball, but could not keep his feet in. And Lake Travis will fall to Pflugerville. 23-20 in the bi-district round of the playoffs. The 30-game playoff win streak is over. And just like that, it was over. Three inches. The difference between advancing to the next round of playoffs and losing and stopping a five back-to-back -back state championship run. It was over. We had let down our team, the community, the coaches, 
ourselves, and each other. Adversity had been placed in our path. The real question was, how would we overcome and respond to it? You lost that fight, Rock, for all the wrong reasons. You lost your edge. But the truth is, you didn't look hungry. Now, when we fought, you had that eye of the tiger, man, the edge. And now you've got to get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? thing um, really for me is being with teammates you know like being with the guys that you've played with forever or even the new guys you just develop such a bond together because you struggle through the same stuff come out victorious or you lose you all you all do it together and I mean those are the guys that you love and you always remember for the rest of your life that you played with them. I mean it just gives me chills talking about it so, so tell me about the feeling you get when you finish a really hard practice or you go through a hard weight workout and you win a game that we didn't, you didn't think we would win. What was the feeling like there? What, what were you thinking about? Oh, it's just like, it's like accomplishing a, a big challenge. I mean, you come out on top. Um, you know, that's, it's like when we played Westlake the last two years, they can say whatever they want. I mean, we've spanked their butt both years. Um, it, was, it was both tough games. They were both tough games, but I mean, we came out and we obviously handled the challenge better than they did because we won. Gotcha. Come here, Brock. You too, Jeremy. What am I in trouble now? Not yet. I want to see you do the death crawl again, except I want to see your absolute best. <laughs> Keep your knees off the ground, just your hands and feet. There you go. A little bit left. There you go. Show me good effort. That way, Brock. Keep coming. I know he's heavy. I'm bad out of strength. Then you negotiate with your body to find more strength, but don't you give up on me, Brock. You keep going, you hear me? You keep going. You're doing good. You keep going. Do not quit on me. You keep going. It hurts. I know it hurts. You keep going. You keep going. It's all hard from here. 30 more steps. You keep going, Brock. Come on. Keep going. Burn. And let it burn. It's all hard. It's all hard. You keep going, Brock. Come on. Come on. Keep going. You promised me your best. Your best. Kelly, you don't quit. Keep going. Keep going. Go, Brock Kelly. 
You don't quit on me! No! You keep going! You keep going! Go run! Ten more steps! Ten more! Ten more! Ten more! Keep going! Don't quit! Give me your heart! You can't! You can't! Five more! Five more! Come on, Brock! Come on! Don't quit! Don't quit! Come on, Brock! Two more! One more! I can't even see the old hell anymore. Look up, Brock. You're in the end zone.